Hi everybody, I'm CK from Core Industries and uh, I'm just gonna walk you guys around the, our plant and uh, come along. Just a little explanation on what we have here. We have molding machines and uh, in the molding business, as you, should, as you guys know, this is, these are very good equipment, they're very consistent, they give you very, very consistent, very good parts. And other than the main equipment, we have the peripheral. And this is a thermolator. Uh, it's from Kawat Kawata, Kawata. And um, this gives you the position level, the thermal position of plus minus 0.1 degree, which is absolutely critical because we need to make sure the parts are stable. A lot of you guys have engineering plastics, nylon, PBT, blah, blah, whatever, polypro, with glass fill, nylon, uh, glass fill, glass reinforcement. And those engineering plastics require a great deal of TLC. For example, the dryness. We all know that these materials can be potentially very agrophilic or they're very thirsty material. They drink a lot, they soak up water. So to better process that, in fact, to best process that, we need desiccant dryers. This together with the rest of our auxiliary equipment and plus our robot that we have here which is from Star, another excellent product which I really prefer. The whole thing will come together, will give you guys absolute certainty and peace of mind when it comes to the production process and its control and consistency. And this is, a, this is an example of what we do here. We start with an electric machine, which is really, really consistent. So it comes out. It gets, the runners get removed. And then it gets scrapped. And uh, there we have it. The desiccant dryer that will make sure that the parts are dried properly, the materials dried properly, and everything stays consistent. And we set the thermometer right now at 60 degrees Celsius, 60 C. And it will stay that way. And this, again, like I said earlier, this whole process, this whole setup, gives you absolutely the best combination for precision parts. If you have precision parts, finicky parts, that needs to be done right with the best equipment, the best TLC from a plastic manufacturing partner or manufacturing partner, come talk to us. So we do a lot of these. These are called the insert molding. Uh, what we do is we stick pieces of metal parts into the mold to be over molded. And this may seem very easy, simple, looks like a simple process, but it takes quite a fair amount of Precision. It actually takes a lot of precision and predictability and machine maintenance and tooling precision just to achieve what we're doing here. What is really critical here is also the air, the compressed air. And what we have here, guys, is we have the screw type precision uh, air compressor that will make sure everything runs smoothly with no variation. And that is another, another thing we invest in, another piece of the hardware that we invest in so that you guys get the best, most predictable and reliable precision parts. And then you have people asking me, okay, CK, okay, great, you guys got great machines, great this, great that, blah, blah, whatever. What do you guys do with my tools? How do you guys take care of my tools? Well, we take care of your tools because they are your property. We put them in racks. Everything's, you know, segregated. It is in this protected control environment. So we take a lot of care of your property, just like we take care of our property. Because what is yours pretty much, you know, the same TLC, the same level of care we, we, we're gonna extend to you guys, okay, for your tools. We have a gentleman over here doing 
RPM maintenance on our equipment, which we do periodically to make sure everything runs like clockwork. We have two QC labs. This is what, just one of them. So we got the pull tester for some of the products that requires pull test. And we have the microscope to check in the part, to look at the stuff on a much you know, more precise level. And uh, we got the gear tester, which we'll be showcasing later. We'll be doing a video on how gears are made. And this is beautiful. This is to me like, uh, like Walt Disney. This is where the real magic happens. I love this. And, um, and, and this is the moisture analyzer. So before we run the tool, before we do anything with, before we shoot the first part, guys, we got to make sure, what we got to make sure of? The material is good and the material is dry. All right, and this is how we do it. We test it, we make sure it's within the tolerance of 0, 1% to 3% moisture content. Only then we get the material, the mold, then we start uh, mass production. Before that, no go. And uh, we got the scale. What do we do it for? What do we use the scale for? For fruits, vegetables, stuff? No, not really. For this particular case, we use the, 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 the scale for balancing of the cavities. Sometimes we have two cavities, four cavities, 16, 32 cavities. We gotta make sure everything is done right and predictably consistent. What do we do? We take the parts, we weigh them. We weigh them, we weigh them. Everything's gotta be within certain tolerance. Actually within 3% weight difference for, for some parts, some even 1%. So with that consistency in the tooling and the material and the hardware and a great QC person and great team, you know we got you when it comes to good parts. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.